1212. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing a speed build um, basically to show, kind of show you how I sort of built like this gate here and then went on to build the whole sort of this um this kind of palace that i created so this took a lot of inspiration from um the chronicles of narnia uh the lion the witch in the wardrobe and yeah i was really really pleased with how this came out this was for a competition for mrs t-rex um where the theme was winter for this month and i essentially decided to kind of build a narnia themed habitat um, well, I say habitat, it's more of a small zoo. So we have three habitats that are here. And essentially we have um, the reindeer habitat down here. And then we have the polar bear habitat over there. And then we have the arctic wolves habitat over there. I'm not going to go into too much detail of that because we're not really here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about how I built this palace. So let's get to the speed build. Right, so I'm just going to warn you in advance, this is going to be very, very choppy and changey because I did not intend on recording this when I started recording it. So I started off by making these little ice spires, um, so, or shards I suppose, they're more like giant shards. Um, basically this, this was inspired by um, essentially like Frozen, the Chronicles of Narnia, all your big kind of things where you have like a, a nice palace um this is mainly chronicles of narnia really because that's kind of what i was i was thinking of when i was building this um a few people have said it looked like frozen so i guess i suppose it could be frozen so essentially with these shards i kind of kept copying and pasting different bits of them because um it was very very time consuming to make them all so if you sort by ice and snow um under the construction and you will get all the pieces that are ice and snow so you'll get all these like giant icicles that we have here so these are the giant icicle pieces like i did not know these were in the game until i started building this i, I barely pay any attention to them um so yeah so essentially I, you start off building your base so the first piece is sort of kind of you have to manually get how you want it to do so you, you press um x and you can then go into more advanced moves and get it going vertical and then you you basically build your pieces by using the align tool align to surface around that so this was the start of the palace now it took me a while to actually work out kind of how this was going to fit and how it was going to sit um so I started building like an archway. This was supposed to be again like any all of your sort of fan, fanti, fantasy kind of films where they have big big gates. That's kind of what this was based on. So I wanted to have a big three big archways and all these columns. And again, I found you, you can find all these under the snow and ice tab. You can see here that my settings are on snow and ice when I'm filtering objects. And a lot of it is it's, it's just sort of kind of working out what makes sense kind of from a, a building point of view. Um, this building is made of ice. I wanted it to look like it had been carved into a glacier. Um, so, which is why it's sort of sitting in these pieces. So, a lot of the custom fences and things I made, um, I made using the icicles as well. So, we have these icicles here that I just sort of, again, I copy and paste them. But, like, they're really repetitive pieces anyway. So, if it looks a bit rubbish, then it, that's just how the pieces look, unfortunately, um, when it comes repetitive. So, I have effectively done what I can to um, like make it not look so repetitive but unfortunately we're gonna get that so I, I was only annoying about having the round pieces or the hexagonal pieces I think the hexagonal pieces give it that sort of more jaggedy icy feel and again these are all just the ice pillars that I was using to kind of give it a bit more detail so at this point once I put these on this is the gate I think pretty much done um, I think I just go into a bit more details on these like putting the ice columns in but then that is essentially on my on the workshop the ice gate effectively that is all it is it's just the entrance built into some ice and things and I made lots of different ice shards I have a few of them on the workshop but I do continually make more of them um, I've been working on my contest entry for Paulsley which is a very very similar kind of build if I would known that the build would have been for snow leopards um, or snow leopards would have been one of the options or the Himalayas would have been an option so I would have probably saved it and redone the whole thing and maybe entered it in that competition as well 
but um, I decided to make another ice palace because they're really fun to build. Like, I really enjoyed building this. I got really, really involved in it. Um, so yeah, essentially it's, you know, you want to be thinking about the columns. It's like when you're building a classical building, like it's going to be a classical kind of entrance that's popped into the ice. It's carved out of the ice. Um, so again, I started off with these four ones. I didn't like how repetitive they were starting to look. So I do make some more in a bit, but um, I put the path in just so I could see how it would fit and how it would look. And so I could kind of build up all the rocks around it. Now to get this kind of snow effect, it's just the snow rocks, which again, if you saw Under Nature by Tundra, you can get all these different um, like ice rocks coming up there. So yeah. Um, I did build a few kind of iterations of this um, just to see what I was doing and how I wanted it to look um, and essentially yeah so it's just sort of that really um, and just built bit building it kind of by tundra and by like that um, so yeah and once I'd sort of fitted all these pieces in together it was just a case of trying to actually build a building around it um, I wanted the guests to be able to use the building. I have seen a couple of similar kind of things on the workshop that you they're just like the shell, they're just for decoration. So I wanted this to be a usable palace and um, that was why I built it so big initially and kind of how it, it sort of works. So yeah, so there's was, there was a different element to it and I made these kind of, again, these clumps. They look a bit like jaunty in daylight but at night time they really come alive and again I just moved them I use these same pieces just to kind of give myself like the skeleton to work on um, once I sort of kind of have built that skeleton I, I add in just the odd pieces here and there just to break it up a bit um, because obviously we don't want it to look too repetitive and it, you know things that look like they're repeating look a bit naff anyway um, so yep here we have these pillars that I decided to build and um, I decided as well I wanted it to be built into a mountainside I mean you know you, where do you get glaciers you get them up in the mountains you get them like you don't tend to get them like on the ground and things like that you get them in very craggy peaks and yeah so that's kind of why I decided to build it up on a next layer and um, I did try the round pieces but I didn't like the round pieces as I said the jaggy pieces just look a lot better and once I'd built this, I was thinking, right, how can I um, get this to work so all the pieces kind of fit in together? Um, and like, so that the pieces fit in and the guests can actually use this. Um, that was the next challenge. So I, I mean, Mrs. T-Rex has a fantastic uh, stairs tutorial on how you can like sort of modify the stairs and get it all like working kind of how, which is, kind of how I managed to do this. In the actual finished build, there is a spiral staircase going up to the top. It's a three meter spiral staircase. And it's how the guests can go from the bottom to up. They essentially can go inside one of the towers and come out at the top to then walk around the ramparts, which will be built a bit later on. Um, so with all this, it was just trying to make it kind of look right. Um, so there were bits and things that I didn't like, so I was just covering, up, covering them up with stone pillars. This is, I had some fun with this. I'm always rubbish at placing these pieces. I think I've said this before. I, I just really struggle to place the pieces like so they all fit together. And um, I don't know what it is about me, but I just, for some reason, I can't get them to work right the first time. So I had to move them all, which was fun. So as you can see, I'm trying to lower it down and then I have to raise every single piece up. And this is just how I build. I build very messily. I don't really make a lot of sense either. Um, so I was just filling in any gaps. And just trying to make it kind of like look intentional um, and be hiding any of like the rubbishy bits <laughs> I guess um, I mean that's you know the biggest tips I can say is, is if you've got bits you don't like just hide them hide them with plants hide them with rocks hide them with whatever um, so you can start to see sort of like start to see this come to life a bit more now and again I just wanted to have like all these little viewing areas like perhaps if there was a queen she would stand up on that ledge up there and it's you know it, it's just a case of like filling the empty void like in a castle or palace like this there's going to be lots of little platforms little like balconies and things like that and so you've just got to find a way to fill those gaps now obviously this was based off Narnia so it's going to have um, you know the white witch in Narnia she turns animals to stone I 
personally at first thought it was ice, which is why they're, they're all ice sculptures, but um, it's actually stone in the film. So um, I did fill the entire place with statues, essentially, because I wanted it to look like how it did in the film when we were there with Edmund. Um, so yeah, and again, it's just a case of slotting some of these in. Now, I wanted some fences. I messed these around so much because I, I could just did not like how they looked originally and I did not like the pieces and but again like it's just a case of with some of these like obviously you know I mean, there are you know I think Bongo Hardwood has got a, a fantastic um, fence making tutorial there's loads of people who've got you know fantastic fence making tutorials if you're not sure how to make them you should completely like go and check out some of those videos because they're really really informative um, if you want to make your own fences just use random pieces and just start trying and seeing what it looks like when you start mushing it together um, because like for example, I just didn't like that, and then I tried something a bit chunkier because I wanted, I knew I wanted to have a roof on this, and I was like, well, how am I going to get this like this um, so that the roof will sit on it because this fence is too small, and I didn't like those ice pieces. So for a while, I, I go with the, the sort of sculpt, sculpted pillar, but then I decided, you know what, I don't like that either um, later on, and I eventually swap it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the thing again, you've got to think about it structurally as well. What is going to be supporting the building? Like these ice pillars um, are going to be holding like a large chunk of the building up as well. Um, yes, it's going to be resting in a mountain, but this is like essentially you've got to imagine it that perhaps this was built into an ice cave or something. I mean, it could go either way. Um, like the one I've built for Paulsley, for example, that is, you know, in, like it's supposed to be like it's been built into an ice cave. Um, and again, I was trying out some roof pieces here. Now, if you want to ever do your own roof pieces, just get some roofing and then start making your own kind of custom roofs. Again, Mrs. T-Rex did a fantastic tutorial on this for those who want to go into that in more detail. Um, but again, for a lot of these, I I was just trying to get it to look right and I absolutely hate all these different iterations. Like, there is so much, like, if you wanted to make your own ice palace like this, there is so many different things you could do. You could just use so many different materials, you could make them look completely different to how I've done them. Um, I made the two that I've made very similar because that's the kind of the style I like, but I mean, if you wanted to go to it even more. So, I think this is, is this, yeah, so I'm, I'm, this is where I move it over into the Narnia map. Um, so here I go, you can literally just see me creating <laughs> in like an ice shard here. Um, I wanted just some it to kind of look like it was it like melted and fallen down one side, which is why it's on a slight slope. Um, I, said, I, I use a line to surface, and I just pick different pieces and just get them all kind of like m like melded in, so you, you don't you kind of lose the details of the rock. So you you get kind of the you know the individual cracks and things, but you can't really tell what the outline of the original rock was because um, you know ice is smooth. It's being sheared by the weather. It's being sheared by um, melts and stuff like that so with this one I really wanted to make it look like it was melting a bit uh, again it was very very fiddly and it, you know you start chucking some of these in and it kind of like mixes it all up a bit so yeah this is another ice shard a little one you know you want to have them of different sizes different scales um, just to add that scale into the game as well like it's massive compared to the people this castle is huge and compared to the animals of this castle is huge so you want to be kind of building that kind of um like perspective that this is a very imposing building it's looming over the people there it's owned by somebody who's a bit nefarious who maybe is you know turning people to stone if she doesn't like them um and so that that's kind of how it, it was and essentially again if if you start when you start placing pieces if they start going a bit wonky it doesn't matter too much because you can just start placing more pieces and I literally just spent the entire time here just messing around with ice pieces and just trying to build them into like some sort of shape um, the ice pieces work really really well because they kind of all blend together very well as well so you can't really make the same kind of thing with rock I found um, but again when you're placing these icicles you want to be think like putting them on like precipices and like bits where perhaps there's like a tiny ledge because that's where ice will accumulate um 
So these are kind of like the sort of ice towers that we have going up on either side now. And then I think this is just a blob of like, yeah, this is just a blob of ice that I made just to kind of help pad bits out. Um, again, I think later on when I start building the habitats, I start like lowering pieces of ice into it. Um, so yeah, I made another one and I just keep going. I just keep going, <laughs> like um, making some really kind of thin ones, trying to get them, like I was trying to, I, the first ones I made were the first sort of like prototypes and I was trying to get them thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and you just have to keep using thinner pieces essentially to get them thinner and thinner. Um, but also the trouble is, is like they have to have a wide base but then get, get tapering and that can be very difficult um, to kind of get like that kind of how it, how it looks. So yeah, here we go. So we have all the rock pieces again. This was just filler rocks, trying to make it blend in a bit more. Now, I don't know what, if we can have, to, yeah, so this is what I started to do. I changed it to this. I did not like the pillars and I made this custom fence. These, all these custom fences are on the workshop um, that are in this map. I do have fun making some more custom fences using the Australia light pieces. So there's some really funky wavy pieces that you can use to make like lights and things and um, you can make like I use them to make like the art shapes in some of my zoos, um, particularly in Alphabet Zoo if you've seen that. Um, but yeah, so this is just me like putting in all the pillars and as always I get bored halfway through and then start doing something else. Um, but yeah, it was just, you know, I think again, it's the little details that make a build. Um, if you go to town with the details, you can actually really sell the story. like. With this, I approached it that this was a story. This was a story that I am trying to sell to you, the people viewing. And so yeah, here, just a shout out here to Mrs. T-Rex for showing how to do this because I hate, like I struggle with the, the paths and things. And if it wasn't for her video, I would not have been able to put this in. So shout out for that. Um, oh, and we oh, pause a sec, but yeah. So um, basically, yeah. You know, you, you want to tell a story, you want to be selling to the audience that this is what this place is. This is just, it's this, you know, it's this castle, it's this fantasy castle. There's this witch who lives there, she turns people into stone. What can I do to sell that story? And you've got to be thinking, you know, like, I, you know, as I was placing things down, I was I was covering the statues and icicles thinking, right, they've been blasted with ice. So they're going to be freezing, but, you know, these they, they maybe they're turned to stone, but they're also covered in ice, which is why I stuck with the ice ones. Um, so yeah, on this build there is a toilet on the top floor that the guests can't access for some reason. So, um, yeah, so this was just finishing off the spiral staircase and putting these in. Um, yeah, so, um, I think the main, so the main focus of this has just been, like, the palace. Um, it's, again, if you ever need inspiration for palaces and things, just, you know, go on Google Images as a, an, always an array of things to inspire you. This, as I said, was particular one was inspired by the film, um, and the whole habitats were inspired by the film. Like, kind of, the palace was the centerpiece. I knew what I wanted to build with this. I wanted to build a snow globe, and, like, I actually got the idea from one of my uh, snow globes that I've got at home, which is broken, actually. I think it's just from moving around so much. Um, it's one that we got when I went to SeaWorld when I was very young. I oh, know, SeaWorld, great. Um, but we went, <laughs> went basically when I was like five or six, and um, I had, I've always had this orca snow globe, and essentially, um, I noticed the other day that the, the middle bit had fallen apart. I mean, we've had it ages, and it's been moved around, and yeah, so, um, that's kind of what sort of <laughs> inspired this, was just the fact that I've had a snow globe that's broken recently. Um, and so I thought, why not try and, if, if this is a competition, then we want to have it encased, so I was like, well, let's encase it in, sort of this snow globe and sell it as a Narnia themed snow globe um, which is why I, I built the dome now again the dome um, you know it was a, a massive build again in itself like there was a lot of hours went into this build I think probably about eight hours every day for the for a week in total um, anyway we're sort of coming to the end of the video now I'm not quite sure where it will cut off but we'll be skipping to a uh, back to the thing anyway in a minute um and i just wanted to say again like you know with a lot of this it's just it's just a case of just doing it 
Um, I've had a lot of people saying like, how did you do that? And this is why I've made the video to show you how I did it. But at the end of the day, like you can do this so easily. Um, you've just got to just keep practicing. Um, and yeah, so I made some lights. That was the Arctic lights. And I was going to have a load more lighting, but I couldn't work out how I liked it. And yeah, essentially that's where we're going to leave it. I think, yeah, me putting, doing lots of lighting. Um, the other thing with the, with the ice as well is the ice works really, really well with the lighting. So if you get the floor light and sink it in to like the ice, you can make it do that kind of glow effect. Now that inspiration I actually took from The Long Dark, which is another one of my favorite games. And one of the maps, they have ice caves and they kind of glow. So yeah. Anyway, let's get to the main sort of uh, build now. And yeah, I'll just show you the finished product. And yeah.